you see me get hit by a baseball, at least make it go viral or something on Reels or TikTok, I don't know. What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna show you a quick drill video based off of a video I did about a week ago on this concept of keeping your elbow up in the pull through. Short and sweet, super simple. All right, so with this drill, you wanna have a stance that is comfortable. Um, you don't want your feet like perfectly in line with each other. I don't want you to be that closed off, but I also don't want you to be like in a fully spread out, just loaded position either. Somewhere that's just a happy in between like your balance, but you're still a little bit closed off. And then what I want you to do is coil your shoulders. And when you coil your shoulders, make sure your hand and your arm is in a little bit of a downward position. Um, nothing crazy, like too high, low or whatever, anything like that. Just a simple coil where your arm is going from your wrist kind of low and then your shoulder leading up at an upward angle. And then very simply, just pull through at a high angle and focus the whole focus of the drill is not to pull through fast or anything like that just pull through in an upward angle now this is going to teach you the basics of knowing how to keep your elbow up and really focus on a low to high pull through or at least just pulling through high in general so if you do want to do this drill with a little bit more power and you want to pull through a little bit quicker again focus is on coiling with your wrist lower than your shoulder you can pull through a little bit harder, but make sure that you at least follow through afterwards, as always, to prevent injury. So I'm a little bit nervous right now. There's a guy practicing baseball on the other side of the soccer field, and he's hitting the baseballs this way. So if you see me get hit by baseball, at least make it go viral or something on Reels or TikTok. I don't know. So, yeah, pretty much that's the entire drill. Very, very simple, like I told you on the other video, and I'll link the original video uh, where this drill is coming from in the description or put a thumbnail up or something But it really is that simple you are getting in a comfortable foot position not too open not too closed off You're going to coil make sure your wrist is a little bit lower than your shoulder and then full focus Just pull the disc through high. That's the whole point For those of you thinking this drill is just too simple. Just wait. There's more So if you want to add a little bit of variation to this drill, which I would suggest you do I would suggest that since the whole focus is just learning how to pull through high, I would suggest trying this on every single angle possible. So what that means is once you have just done your natural coil, kept your wrist lower than your shoulder, and pulled through high a few times, I would suggest trying this on every single angle. So what that means is with your body position, I would lean forward a little bit and make sure that you can do this on a hyzer angle after you've done that a few times. I would suggest leaning a little bit more upright with your chest out and then trying this drill at a more flat angle. Now, this is where it can get tricky because most people, when they're going to think about pulling through high, they think through doing so in a more natural hyzer way. But you can actually do this on hyzer, flat, and even anhyzer. So lastly, you're going to want to do this on an anhyzer angle. So position your body a little bit leaned back, still do the normal coil, and then focus on pulling through high and I know you're probably thinking like well Jordan if I try to pull through high when I'm trying to throw flat or, uh, or even Anheuser isn't that just gonna make me throw a nose up and I know that it feels that way but it actually won't happen if you do it properly a lot of your flat and Anheuser releases a little bit more about your follow-through whether or not you're gonna throw nose up when you're trying to throw flat or Anheuser is a little bit more about your body position and your follow-through than it is pulling through and keeping your elbow up and pulling through high. If this is a little bit too advanced and you just want to stick to focusing on just that motion, not really caring about what angle it's thrown on, you can just coil, pull through high, and learn that concept this way. Like I told y'all from the video, super simple concept. I hope it helps. If you have any suggestions on maybe some drills that you do that help you learn how to pull through high, or if any other kind of drill suggestions or things that you might want to see, just let me know in the comments. And I'll do my best to get videos like that out. So it really is that simple. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, do this drill. You can throw as fast as you want when you're doing this, but if you do throw faster, just make sure you follow through to prevent any kind of injury. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll link the video where this concept and this drill came from in the description. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. As always, love y'all, stay snappy. See you in the next one.